Previously on Dad's Academy. What happens to me on the holidays? In line with your bail conditions, you'll be staying here. Seriously, when was the last time you ate something? Abigail. Abigail? Would it honestly be the end of the world if you deferred until next year? Just until we can work things out. It's clean. Look, you got it. The first year scholarship. Every week you'll be doing private classes with me, working harder than you ever thought possible. You're telling me I can stay? Yes! There was this girl I knew from Patchwelling, sort of wide-eyed, awkward, never been kissed, with an extreme talent for embarrassing herself. I, on the other hand, have a boyfriend who is like, hey you, golden, amazing friends. And starting this week, I can dance on point. This semester really is going to be spectacular. Hey! You're back early? Yeah, I have to start privates with Ms. Rain. It's one of the requirements of my scholarship. How are you? Super! Thanks for asking. Hey! Good holiday. Did you know Gloria in the cafeteria hasn't spoken to Edgar the Cleaner since the passion fruit sponge cake incident of 2002? So climbing the walls then? A little bit. <laughs> it was the finals of the National Junior Ballet of Stedford. I danced perfectly. The adjudicator read out the results. Fourth, third, second. And then Mum just started squealing because we knew I'd won. <laughs> uh, after that, Dad took us all out for dinner. Mum, my sister, me, Kat. Kat? Ex-best friend, now frenemy. Irrelevant. We all ordered desserts, only desserts. Two each. And what about that made you happy? Winning? Dancing perfectly? Eating whatever you wanted? Feeling supported and sharing with my friends and family. Adam, the strength and self-belief you've taught me makes me certain I'm ready to start dancing on Monday. Read me anything you've written. I know wherever I am, I will do my best, and that is all I will ever ask of myself. And is that something you truly believe? Or is it an affirmation you've copied down from an internet site? You're being the perfect patient, writing the perfect diary, eating the perfect diet. But your need to control every situation isn't helping you. You're making progress, Abigail, and that's great. But you're not yet strong enough to return to ballet. I'm ready to dance. I need to dance. Then go dancing. Dance with a friend, dance for the love of it. No ballet, no classes, no practicing in that studio. Nothing that could trigger unhealthy thoughts. Yes, okay, I'll ask her. Hey, I'm teaching Cha Cha again tomorrow. Grandma and friends, can you come? She wants a female perspective. 
Got to go. Love you. So, how was it? Breakthrough. He hypnotised me, made me cluck like a chicken. Are you allowed to go back to class? Are you allowed to stalk me? Stalk? You've been here every day of the holidays. Don't you have anything better to do? Not so much. No. Hi, honey, I'm home. <laughs> Whoa, slow down. Oh. When did you get back? How was Europe? Did Natasha really ground you in the hotel room? Hey, how goes uh, it, Jeff? Yes, she did, but I also met him. Unreal. Roommate, meet boyfriend, boyfriend ditto, except other way around. Oh, what, we're official already? I thought we were just holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Rumi didn't make the second semester cut, and you're moving in with me. There will be deeper cuts at the end of this term, Katrina. I hope you all managed a few classes during your break. Tara has a private lesson. <laughs> Tara's balance will change in part of her now she's on point. I suggest you spend the rest of your holidays practicing. Are you ready? Relevates in fifth position. You know, when you arrived, we talked about choosing your friends wisely. And pose up. You didn't better. You need to make a decision about what's more important, your training or other distractions. He's a Diplo bread I picked up in Paris. His mum's a Natasha case or something. Anyway, Natasha loathes him. She went crazy when he kept turning up. What, don't you like him? No, it's not that. Miss Rain just gave me the third degree. According to her, I can't hang out with you and be serious about dancing. What? She can't tell you who you can be friends with. What is this, oh, primary school? Straight down into his... Samuel! How can you bear to leave these on so uh, tragically empty? Alice, you're it! Uh, I can say you're grounded, young lady, in four languages. <laughs> <laughs> More junk. This semester, there's going to be rules. No, Rumi's not coming back, so I'm moving in with Kat. How sweet. Bambi and Thumper together at last. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye. Why are you still in my room? them chanting, Ethan. Ah, uh, let him chant. Can't wait to see you. Can't wait to see you either. What should I wear to dystopia? Um, busy. Mm -hmm. I know. Hi. Kitty cat, long time. Hey, I heard Natasha sent you home in disgrace. <laughs> yeah, bye Ethan, she'll call you back. <clears throat> Trashy in a good way? on my leg. I think you have to pull up more. <laughs> help! Help!
hope you ate some of that. I ate what the diet plan specifies. So, for one night only, I'm teaching my cha-cha class here. Studio One is now booked and it's only two steps away, so there's no excuse not to come. Except that it's a parade of saggy geriatric bodies shuffling around a studio. <laughs> Achieving what? Grace? Beauty? Technical perfection? They don't have to achieve anything. It's a relief. Look, just... just come by and watch. Mm. Therapy's enough pointless exercise for one day. Cease to crunch, little one. Where are you going out? Only three sets to go. Uh, the Kiefers are playing a warm-up gig. The Kiefers? At a private club, all ages. And our names are on the door. But it's the first day of term tomorrow, and we have Miss Rain Classical at 9am. It starts at 6 and we'll be back before curfew. But we'll be wrecked. Tara, how many times have I said no to you? You're going with Diplobra anyway. Why do you even need me? Because you don't like him. I barely even know him. Well, can you at least make an effort then? Tara, when we are old, we will look back on this as the defining moment of our friendship. Defining moment. Uh huh. You gonna let me dance or not? We all want to feel you're strong enough to cope with the extra pressure ballet puts on you. Is that a yes or a no? You're not ready yet. I can see you have a reaction to that. How do you feel when I say you can't go back to ballet? Fine. Be more specific. I feel like I eat and I eat and I do exactly what I'm told to do and I write my stupid little diary and I imagine my stupid coping strategies and you still won't let me dance. That's good. I want you to be honest. Honest? I'll give you honest. It is unfair. I'll fall behind. There are performances at the end of the year and someone else will get my role. Everybody wants you to dance again. We just want you to be healthy. Why are you doing this to me? You're just like ballet. How am I like ballet? I give it everything. I never get anything back. I love ballet. Ballet just doesn't love me. Ballet doesn't have feelings, Abigail. They can't love you or not love you. Are we done? All your teachers say you're a wonderful dancer. If you choose, you can have a professional career. Or you can follow an unhealthy path that'll make it impossible for you to dance. Now today, you've got choices. If you don't deal with this, you're going to lose that power. About time. Relax, T. Get you home before your pumpkin. Hey, man. Uh, Lucas Stewart. Uh, she's with us. That's Lucas plus one. Casting told me to bring hotties. No, you and one other. Uh, uh, we'll wait out here. You go inside and find us. Uh, plus one goes in now. We're not at all. We'll take like five minutes. You cool with that, right? By myself. Hmm. We'll sort it. Five minutes. Yeah, I'll be fine. Finding moment. my money inside. Can I just go in and grab them and then I'll come straight out? <laughs> I'm not lying. I bet you call your mum and third come pick you up. But my friend will come back for me. Look, 
I'll tell you this for nothing. If you're not on the list, I can't let you through the door tonight. Thing is, I didn't even want to come tonight. And now I'm stuck here in the middle of nowhere and I've got class tomorrow. Hi, don't speak. I don't want to talk Voicemail. About it. Can I make one more call? Mm. Hey, Ethan, it's me. You must be the famous Abigail. I was just leaving. May I have this dance? Go on, Abigail, make his day. Aha! Now the gentleman is supposed to lead. Just go with me. Lovely. You can't. Shut up, I'm dancing. <laughs> Third game of my first season in the NRL, and I get crunched. I did my ACL right here. No, that's terrible. Man, my family had flown to Australia to come and watch. They saw the whole thing. According to Ethan, your life's in danger. Christian! Bye. <laughs> Bubba Lieberman took a shine to you. Shmully, you behave yourself now. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks that you could do a small meter on your bones. She, uh... She's offered to cook you her special dumplings. You have to stop hassling me about food. It's not what I was doing. It makes it harder. Look, last semester, what happened? I feel responsible. It had nothing to do with you. Maybe I could have helped. You couldn't have. No one could. Waiting here, yay tall, cute little dress, big dandy eyes. She left. Her boyfriend came and collected her in a cab. Twenty minutes till curfew. Let's walk really slow. <laughs> okay, change my mind. Giant steps. Giant. Okay. <laughs> Stop right there. Race you to the end of the park. <laughs> Alright. Ready? You're going down. Set. Cheat!
Why are you going out with Ethan? What? Oh, I'm just asking. Because he's perfect. In every way. Okay. You may not see it, but I feel it and I really... I said, okay. Train's coming. We should get going. We'll miss curfew. Mine. You're the one who moved things. If there's a pillow thief, it's you. You're right. I'm sorry. Can't sleep. Cat's not home. Four students didn't make the half fee cut. You'd think it'd be time to get serious. Your bed's still empty if you don't want to be trampled by cat climbing through a window. Isn't the room tidier without me? Yes. This is important. Being honest to your friends about what you need. Giving up some control to let them in. It's brave and strong. Healthy. Thank you. You understand that we support you. Your parents, your teachers, your friends. Yeah. Recovery isn't always smooth. If you need me, I'm here. I know. So? When are we going to ask to go back to dancing? I guess you'll tell me when I'm ready. I am so sorry if it makes it any better. Standing with you in the queue was the most fun I had all night. And the keepers? Uh, they didn't show. And Diplo Brat's friends are really hard work. Well, I think I'm going to move back in with Abigail. I feel bad leaving her on her own. Oh, well, that's okay. Our friendship probably wasn't going to survive us living together. I belong in small doses. <laughs> I heard you've been practicing your cha-cha. Oh, Sammy, please, <laughs> enough with the cha-cha. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 I already missed the white-eyed girl from Patchy. Sure, she didn't have a clue, but there's a kind of freedom in that. Not knowing stuff makes things less complicated. Mind if I cut in? Oh, hi! Oh, I forget you had a boy. No. game of my first season in the NRL and I get crunched. I did my ACL right here. No, that's terrible. Yeah, my family had flown to Australia to come and watch. They saw the whole thing. According to Ethan, your life's in danger. Christian! Bill Lieberman took a shine to you. Shmully, you behave yourself now. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks that you could do a small meter on your bones. She, uh, 
She's offered to cook you her special dumplings. You have to stop hustling me about food. It's not what I was doing. It makes it harder. Look, last semester, what, what happened? I feel responsible. It had nothing to do with you. Maybe I could have helped. You couldn't have. No one could. Hi, uh, my friend was just waiting here. Yay, tall, cute little dress, big dandy eyes. She left. Her boyfriend came and collected her in a cab. Twenty minutes till curfew. Let's walk really slow. <laughs> okay, change my mind. Giant steps. Giant. Okay. <laughs> Stop right there. Race you to the end of the park. <laughs> All right. Ready? You're going down. Set. Cheat. Why are you going out with Ethan? What? Oh, I'm just asking. Because he's perfect. In every way. Okay. You may not see it, but I feel it and I really... I said, okay. Train's coming. We should get going. We'll miss curfew. Mine. You're the one who moved things. If there's a pillow thief, it's you. You're right. I'm sorry. Can't sleep. Cat's not home. Four students didn't make the half year cut. You'd think it'd be time to get serious. Your bed's still empty if you don't want to be trampled by Cat climbing through a window. Isn't the room tidier without me? Yes. This is important. Being honest to your friends about what you need. Giving up some control to let them in. It's brave and strong. Healthy. 
Thank you. You understand that we support you. Your parents, your teachers, your friends. Yeah. Recovery isn't always smooth. If you need me, I'm here. I know. So, when are we going to ask to go back to dancing? I guess you'll tell me when I'm ready. I am so sorry if it makes it any better. Standing with you in the queue was the most fun I had all night. And the keepers? Uh, they didn't show. And Diplo Brat's friends are really hard work. Well, I think I'm going to move back in with Abigail. I feel bad leaving her on her own. Oh, well, that's OK. Our friendship probably wasn't going to survive us living together. I belong in small doses. I heard you've been practicing your cha-cha. Oh, Sammy, please, <laughs> enough with the cha-cha. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> I already missed the white-eyed girl from Patchy. Sure, she didn't have a clue, but there's a kind of freedom in that. Not knowing stuff makes things less complicated. Mind if I cut in? Oh, hi! Uh, forget you had a boyfriend. No. 